coming towards the end of uh, our set, unfortunately. But uh, I want to play for you another original piece. Uh, this was, it's called The Two Sisters. And uh, earlier this uh, year, I got the privilege of going to to play in Canada, in Vancouver. And um, has anyone here been to Vancouver? Yeah. Um, yes. Do you know those two mountains that yeah. kind of look at you, no matter where you are in the, in the city? And a lot of people call them The Two Sisters. Now, officially they have a, a name that I don't remember, but it's something very colonial, like, um, the Lord Honourable Reginald the Second Winton something you know uh, some colonial name but everyone calls them the um, uh, the original First Nations name for them which is the Two Sisters and uh, when I was there in Vancouver they were snow covered and um, I was there with my young daughter she's about to turn two June my daughter and uh, you know what's like with the time change and everything basically we're all very early and she was trying to get me out of bed early and she said let's go see the Two Sisters and what she wants is to go out at the bathroom we were staying to look at the snowy mountains. So we did this every morning, we go to see the two sisters. And um, so I wrote this piece uh, while we were over there about that. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's another solo shallow piece. Um, so enjoy.
a long time of COVID, not much happening in town. We're all very, very grateful that this is going on. Um, and thanks so much to Graham as well for, for doing this sound tonight. Thank you so much. And um, so being in this place that we're in tonight, uh, well, we got, uh, I thought I would play something uh, a little spooky in this time of year as well. So we're coming to Halloween. And uh, yes, this spot, now it looks lovely in this room, but it's a little, it's got a little haunted vibe about it. Do you feel that in this house? So, especially if anyone saw before this incredible work that they did to the place. So I definitely feel like there's some, some pukas or some ghosts hanging around somewhere. Uh, so I thought it'd be fitting to do a ghost uh, song for you, a ghost tune. So it's, in my opinion, it's the best uh, Irish ghost tune that there is. And she moved through the fair. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a beautiful and very haunting tune that really uh, sounds very haunting and beautiful on the cello. And so, um, yeah, just, the story is, um, well, there's lots of versions of this, isn't there? Uh, of this song. And a lot of people have done different great versions of it. Um, but the one that I like always, you know, ends with, of course, the ghost coming back. Just those really haunting words. Um, uh, it will not be long, love, till our wedding day. Uh, it's chilling when I think of that. So um, I'm going to uh, do this kind of haunting version of uh, She Knows Through the Fair. And thank you so much for coming out tonight. And we'll see you after. If we have a little time, I know we're, we don't have a huge amount of time because there's other acts coming in later. Maybe we'll have time for more tunes. I'll wait for you to give me the, the nod if you think you, after this, if you think of time for some more. So for now, again, we're ready to get scooped out for She Knows Through the Fair. <coughs> Thank you. 
Last night she came to 